Hey, welcome back everybody to the Hobby Foot Locker. You know, at some time if you are a miniature war gamer, uh, you have thought about taking your games to the high seas. And therefore you need obviously vessels and ships to carry all of those miniatures on. Now most of us are familiar with the uh, Mega Box ship kits. And I've got a few of those which I hope to show in time. Uh, but they take a bit of time to put together. So when you're moving and storing and you break them down, when it's time to get them out, you got to put them back together. And uh, they take up a lot of space. But today I was able to pull out this one, which is actually rare even among Mega Block ships. And I had to leave it in my storage area just to get it all into view. And this is called the King Arthur uh, ship. Believe it or not, I mean, I don't know if there's any accounts of King Arthur ever taking to the seas. But as you will see here in a second, because I'm going to try to stand up and pan up and get a, a complete view of this ship. This is, is very unique even among the Mega Block style ships. Uh, you have this elaborate kind of eagle uh, masthead there. You have uh, oars, you have a, what is that, a crossbow, you have the shields on the side, I mean, I actually love the paint scheme, you have the tail back here, kind of the rudder section, you have some flaming torches, you have the huge mast, you know, the elaborate sail. And overall, it is a beautiful ship. And I think it's even well, you know, well scaled for the size. It's, it's, it's definitely a smaller size and a less displacement than what you get with some of the much larger uh, mega block ships. But I'm going to bring this back to the table. I just wanted to be able to kind of pan out. And show you guys the entire vessel so I just filmed it right here in my storage closet okay so we are back kind of to our more traditional view and I just wanted to give you guys kind of a look at the paint job and the planking on this ship because like I said this is rare even among mega block ships uh, you know it comes with the chest and if you are curious or just nosy, this does open. Oh, and there's like gold and bronze and copper and silver pieces in here, which you could probably put on a, a Lego pad and actually paint up to look even better, which I may do. Like here's a silver piece here. Uh, and the funny thing about this model is I've taken this apart several times uh, to move it or store it. And I've been able to put it back together without, uh, without actually having any instructions. Now, there is some mechanisms in the bottom of here that turn. Although I do not know how they operate or what they do. I may be missing something because it appears here that something goes there. Maybe the oars. And I, it looks like I'm missing at least one of those. So if you wanted to place your oars there, then there's a section that stands up in there. But uh, I'm sure this goes for a lot of money now, so it's probably hard to find. Uh, I did thrift this a long time ago, back when you could still thrift something like this. Nowadays, you know, Goodwill would, would auction it, and you wouldn't have a chance of getting it at a decent price. But... Uh, you know, I don't really, I, I really couldn't see myself selling it right now because I, I really like it. Uh, the last thing I will do is I will try to show you guys some scale. I mean, it's your typical Lego scale. So, I, you know, I don't think it's perfect, but I think, I think it works. So let's check it out. Yeah, so like I said, the scale actually works. <laughs> Now, I know that probably threw you guys for a loop when you saw the orc show up here. Uh, 
But heck, nobody knows where King Arthur and them are at, so it looks like the orcs have decided to move in and uh, take advantage. But like I said, as you can see, it actually scales up very well, which is pretty common. I mean, obviously there is a problem with the Lego decking where it's hard to stand figures up there. And I've seen people go through a lot of things to even that out or level that out. But uh, for the most part, I just leave it. I mean, most of the time your miniatures are not going to be in there in one place very long. You're either moving them for a boarding action or they're just, a, it's a static scenery. So, plus, you know, it, it kind of, I think it, once you cover them up and do them like that, you're kind of defeating any ability later on to do things like add, uh, you know, add uh, treasure trunks and, you know, your uh, ballistas or crossbows and things like that. So I just leave it. It's better just to, for me to move them around to another spot. But, I mean, this is a wonderful item, like I said, that normally, you know, I probably wouldn't get a chance to show you guys, but it's kind of what I do in this uh, series because, you know, my intention was to show these things when they made it to the game table, but, you know, unfortunately, a lot of my stuff doesn't get to the game table as often as I would like. Take care, everybody. God bless. Tell you about my best friend He's a warm-hearted person Love me till the end